All right, and up next, let's talk about array includes method, which checks if the item is in the array, and it returns true or false. And this one is useful in the conditional statements. So I have here the groceries array, and I have following items, milk, bread and meat. And if I'm going to set up a variable, and in this case, I'll call this random item, and I'll purposely go with let them and you'll see in a second why. And if for example, I'll set it equal to lemon, and then in the next line, let's create another variable, this one will be is included. And let's go with groceries, then includes. So notice, now we're running this includes method on the array, and we just want to pass in the item. So if I pass this one in, you can probably already guess that is included will be false, since there is no lemon in my groceries. And as a result, I get back false. If I log that one, of course, this is exactly what I'll see in console. Now, if we change this one around, so in the next line, if we change this one to, I don't know, let's go with milk, then the value will be true. Now, similarly to the string includes one, we can optionally pass in the second argument. In this case, we're talking about the index. So where we want to start the search from, by default, it's going to be zero. So from the first item, but if I change this around and say one, so from index one, again, this will be false, even though technically, milk is in the groceries. But since we start the search from the first item, basically, from the item, which has the index of one, that's why we have this error. So let me save this one comment out, just so it stays for your reference. And now let's take a look at how we can use it in the conditional statement. So I can go with if condition, and since includes returns false or true, we right away can go with groceries, then includes and then pass in whatever value. So in my case, I already have the random item. So let's pass the sucker over here. And then let's just add the curlies where we'll go with log. And then as far as text, I don't know, I'm going to go with template string and I'll say yay, it's on the list on the list. And of course, I can add else if I want to, but I won't do that in this case. So this just simplifies where we don't need to go with random item is equal to such and such or use find indexes or whatever stuff. We simply can use includes, which will return true or false, which we can nicely set up in the conditional statement.